Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about booleans. Booleans are true statements, truth statements in Python and they're either true or false. So you may be wondering, uh, we're just working with numbers, why are we talking about booleans? Well actually booleans are part of the integer family. They are actually integers. Um, true would be the number one and false would be the number zero if zero is actually a number so um, and this is how the program indicates if it's true or false so let's take a look at some uh, true or false uh, operations uh, we haven't covered this yet in our tutorials but we are getting to it that's why we're covering uh, booleans right now so we can move on to the next step so um, don't worry too much about what's going on. Just take note that you know we get true or false. So true and true would make true. Hit return. It's true. True and true. This is called a um, a boolean operation. End is uh, end, and there's uh, true or true would be true or is another uh, truth operation and not false would be true this is another one so we got three here we're going to discuss these more in uh, the next tutorial um, if not the next one the following one so we could also do we could do true and true is true or true or true is true or not true is false not false is true I mean this kind of stuff uh, we can use in our programs. All right. We also can do stuff like uh, six is less than nine. Hit return. It's true. Or we can do seven's greater than eight. Or nine, four. True. So how do how about some false? Seven seven is greater than four or is less than four. False. Uh, I get confused sometimes using these uh, what's greater and what's less than. We can also do 7 is equal 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 to 7. You get true. Or we can do 7 is not equal to 8. So we get returned true, false, true, false, true, false. These are truth, you know, truth operators. So booleans are pretty easy. All right, you're either going to get true or false. And we're going to look at these operators. These are comparison operators here, if I didn't mention that before. We're going to dig into them. That's definitely in the next tutorial. Um, then we'll look at these also. So, like I said, uh, true and false are actually part of the integer family. And there's some proof to that. We could do true plus false. So true contains the number one it's the number one in the integer and false is zero so hit return we'll get one pretty cool right um, now if you use type on true and you gotta use capital for true and false or it won't work for any time using true or false if I use type on true it's gonna return bool for boolean alright it's not gonna return integer but I could do it this way I could do a equals true, true plus false, and do type on a, and we get integer. So, booleans are part of the integer family, and that's why we're covering it today. And when you're working with uh, mathematical problems in programming, sometimes you use the true and false statements to find out if for example, up here is 7 and 7 equal? True. Or 7 not equal to 8? True. So this is booleans. There's not much to it. You just need to know that um, it could either be true or false. All right. And true, and they're um, integers. So true is 1 and false is 0. Um, we're going to do a lot of practice with these, so you guys will gain a lot of knowledge on them. Um, next tutorial, we're going to do comparison operators, these right here, and we'll discuss them and how they work, and 
hopefully I'll be able to figure out what's greater than and less than symbol by then. Because um, when I do these, I'm like, oh, this is greater than. And then I'm like, wait, is that less than? You know, sometimes you get confused. But uh, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. And we'll see you in the next one, uh, looking at comparison operators. Have a nice day.